Welcome to the Pastor's Corner on Wednesday. Um, we're in Proverbs chapter 3, starting at verse 21 through 26. We're dealing with sound judgment and discernment. And oh my goodness, I wish we had it all the time and we could function in that um, sound judgment and discernment. But often we get sidetracked in life. Um, you know, just simple things like going to bed on time. You know, sound judgment would say go to bed on time. Uh, lacking of discernment is maybe sharing information too quickly uh, or, t or, or too much too soon. All those types of things. And the scripture says this in, in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 21 through 26. It says, my son, preserve sound judgment and discernment and do not let them out of your sight. They will be a life for you and an ornament of grace around your neck. Then you will go on your way in safety and your foot will not stumble. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. You will lie down and your sleep will be sweet. Have no fear of sudden disaster or ruin that overtakes the wicked. For the Lord will keep your confidence and will keep your foot from being snared. Here is some wonderful promises about sound and judgment and discernment. It says, don't let them out of your sight. And I wish I could say I always keep them in sight. Sometimes they go out the window. Um, maybe uh, uh, you're, you're playing a game and, and, and you're ha ha having uh, fun and you know that it's time for bed and you should probably go to bed and you don't. Then you wake up groggy and, and irritable. And the scripture says sound judgment and discernment. Don't let them out of your sight. Um, when you're talking to people, sh sh um, and, and, and caring for them. Notice that when, when you have sound judgment and discernment, the scripture says you'll go on your way in safety. When you deal with people, when, you, when you're dealing with people and you, and let's say in business, when you do a win-win, uh, both people go away uh, happy and there's, there's safety and there's a possibility of another business deal down the road. However, if one person takes advantage of the other one, guess what? That's one, that's one and done. Uh, there's no more business happening between those two people. And there's a lot of anger, a lot of frustration, a lot of disappointment. And the scripture says, if you have sound judgment and discernment, you will, you can walk in safety and you will not stumble. And I love this promise that when you lie down, when you go to sleep, you'll not be afraid. You won't be up wondering uh, all of these things. When you operate in sound judgment and discernment, when you lie down, it even says this, your sleep will be sweet. It will be incredible. When you go to sleep, uh, right relationships between you and your employees, right relationship between you and your spouse, right relationship between you and your, your kids and your friends and coworkers, sleep is sweet. And then this, it says, have no fear of sudden disaster or ruin that overtakes the wicked. And this is because when you do things properly, you don't have to worry about a speeding ticket. You don't have to worry about um, about uh, if you're under age drinking and you're, and you're drinking. You don't have to worry about being caught because you're not doing anything wrong. Um, you see, when you do things wrong and when you do things against the Lord and those types of things, a disaster often comes quickly. A police at the door, um, a, a, a deal going south. Uh, all those different things happen quick because you're not walking in discernment and in sound judgment of the Lord. And I love this last verse. It says, the Lord will be your confidence. When you walk with Jesus, when you walk with God, you can have confidence uh, in business, in relationships, in, in all things. And, and God will keep your foot from being snared because you're doing the things the way God would want you to do. So, my son and my daughter, preserve sound judgment and discernment. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I pray that your Holy Spirit would lead us and guide us, that we would have sound judgment and that we'd have discernment in, 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 in all things, in our relationships with our families and business deals and all the things that you have laid out before us. Lord, I thank you that you are our confidence and not other things not in our smarts, but you are our confidence. We give that you thanks in Christ's name. Amen. You have a good day and God bless.